New at 4.30, some Orange County students went to the extra mile to get to and from school today. It was all part of International Walk to School Day. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman shows us how the annual event not only pushes for safety, but for fitness. The sidewalks were definitely a little more crowded in neighborhoods across Central walk to school day celebrating its 20th year organizers of the event say their message remains the same it was a spirited welcome for students walking and biking to school in Maitland this morning dozens of kids and parents here hitting the pavement with a purpose it's just a good way to promote um, healthy lifestyle as well as spending time together with your family School board member Nancy Robinson says in Orange County alone, more than 60 schools took part in International Walk to School Day. Since 1997, the annual event has aimed to raise awareness for pedestrian safety. Especially for the young students, when they get out with their families, they can learn the healthy pedestrian um, rules of the road. This year, a few obstacles for those in Central Florida. Debris piles from Hurricane Irma still littering the route to school for some. That is something the students are all going to have to look out for because some of the piles are on the sidewalk, some are in the street. But parents say that can also serve as a learning opportunity. While setting an example herself, Amy Yoey says it's important to show children how to walk to school safely while encouraging others to do the same. It is safe, and the more we have walkers and bikers out there, the safer it'll be. So we're hoping to promote, you know, that it is a good way to, to get to school. In Maitland, Mark Lehman, News 6. Well, still to come on the news at 4.30.